Hey guys, it's Erica, and I have a pretty big problem. Okay, and this is not a problem that I really expected to arise for me, especially now since I haven't been out getting more plants or anything like that. Uh, pretty much, this entire plant is horribly infested with mealybugs. And I don't have any other plants that have ever had mealybugs. Some, for some reason, I have no idea why, this plant has so many mealybugs that I am literally just gonna cut the whole thing up. <laughs> so I have dealt with aphids and spider mites, and honestly, I really hate spider mites. Like, they are probably my least favorite insect, but um, yeah, I never really had to deal with mealybugs. I kind of watched this plant slowly deteriorate. You can see here there are some leaves that are yellowing. There are some dead brown ones. And I was kind of watching the plant slowly deteriorate. And I was like, oh, it's just a little bit of leaves at a time. Nothing is really wrong. And then one day I decided to look closely. I didn't even need to look that closely because there are so many mealybugs and I saw them and everyone is always like, oh, mealybugs are kind of cute. No, they're not cute at all. They're not cute little fuzzy creatures. They look like lint, like demon lints. About maybe a week or two ago was when I noticed and honestly, when I saw it, I was like, I was kind of overwhelmed. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna just throw the whole plant away. And I was like, no, I can't just throw the whole plant away. Like, it's my glacier pothos. It has really beautiful leaves. And I know there are a lot of them for sale, like at Home Depot or Lowe's, but this is my glacier pothos. So I was like, no, okay, I can do this. And normally, like, what you do to get rid of mealybugs is, you know, you'll get your Q tip, your alcohol, and you will dab off every mealybug that you see. There was just, there. this plant is just too, it's not even big, okay? <laughs> it, it honestly is not even a big plant, but there are just too many leaves on this plant to be swabbing up mealybugs everywhere. This plant actually hangs on a cat tower, like a tower that your cats, you know, a cat tower. So it live, it hangs on a cat tower and then Above it, there is there, you, well, not anymore, I moved it, but there was a Hoya uh, Crimson Queen, and then on the other side, there was a, a Skindapsis. So after I treated this, I was like, oh my gosh, wait, this could have spread. So I checked those two plants, and they did have mealybugs, but it was like three on each plant, so those were really easy to clean up, and I drenched them in alcohol, so... Those plants are 100% safe. This plant has been in quarantine like the rest of us, okay? He is stuck by himself in the bathroom. During this time, a lot of people have been having urges to cut off their hair, dye their hair. Like just in general, they'll be like cutting their own bangs and everything. What I have been doing is cutting off <laughs> all the vines of my plants and propagating them. I've been giving my plants haircuts and that is what I'm gonna do to this one. I have not dealt with it since that one day that I treated it. Like it's been, it's been honestly like dying for the past week or two whenever I discovered it because it's just been, it's just been in the back of my mind. Like I'm gonna have to deal with that one day and today is the day we're gonna deal with it. I'm kind of nervous to be holding this plant up everywhere. Like I don't want any mealybugs falling anywhere. So I'm gonna cut off a stem just to show you how many mealybugs are on here. It's bad, it's very bad. You can see like the nests in between the leaves. So let me trim this plant, this horribly infested plant. Oh my gosh.
have cut off nearly all the foliage of this plant, it honestly doesn't even look that like sad. Um, but this thing still has a, like a ton of mealybugs on it. I'm gonna have to go and spray this down in my bathtub so there's no chance of any other bugs getting or plants getting infected. I'm gonna do the best that I can to wipe as many of the nests off. So I just finished literally power washing this plant and it does look a lot better but there are still a little bit of traces of nests. I'm gonna try and look as thoroughly as possible <laughs> to see if there's any bugs left and since I did <laughs> cut off like the entire plant it's gonna be so much more easy and so much more manageable so <laughs> I feel a lot better after having done that. So I just got some of my alcohol mix on a cotton swab <coughs> and alcohol actually makes the <laughs> makes the paint of this table come off so I'm gonna try to not touch the table but I'm literally gonna go through every single vine which there's only like there's like 16 vines so I'm gonna go through each and every single one and get rid of any traces that I find The whole plant has been thoroughly checked over. There are absolutely no mealybugs left. There are absolutely no little mealybug nests. And I'm actually kind of proud of myself because it was a very daunting task to clean this little plant up. I think I'm gonna wait to repot it. Yeah, I think this is gonna do well. It's gonna recover. It wasn't really suffering that much. Like if it was that infected with spider mites, it would have been dead. Like the plant wouldn't be here with us anymore. So um, yeah, that's probably why I didn't catch on to it. This plant is gonna stay in quarantine for the next like two weeks. And I'm gonna check it daily to see if any little bugs pop up. They're pretty easy to spot, but I think I'm gonna go in with a magnifying glass just to make sure. But right now it looks really great. I completely sprayed it with alcohol. There is no spot that has been untouched by alcohol. I just gotta wait for it to grow back and hopefully not like relapse. Relapse into like another fuzzy plant again. Cause that was very, that was very disturbing to see how many there were there. That was a, that was a lot. But that is it for today's video. I'm gonna leave you with a reminder to check on your plants so you don't end up like me with a bunch of mealybugs. I'm usually pretty good about spraying my plants down with neem oil, but apparently not this one. I completely entirely missed this one plant. So <laughs> hopefully you don't end up like me and you catch it early on if you find any bugs at all. But uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I post a whole bunch of different kinds of plant videos such as this one. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh.